So now we're doing Unit 4, Lesson 6, so division of rational expressions. In order to understand how to divide rational expressions, you need to be able to understand how to divide fractions. So remember, when dividing fractions, it's the, um, you know, kind of flip and multiply. So remember, it's always by the denominator. What you're dividing by is what you flip. So for example, this should flip. So we should have 7 over 10 times 14 over 3. Okay. If you are good at simplifying in terms of cross cancelings, like this would be 14 and 10 have a 2 in common, so you can make that a 7, you can make that a 5, because that's how many times 2 goes in each of them, you can do that. If you want to just multiply across and simplify last, you can do that as well. I'm going to do the cross cancelling just so that you see it, and the other way is pretty simple to show. So 7 times 7 is 49, 5 times 3 is 15. And we're going to leave it at that. That's as simple as it goes. You don't have to change it to mixed. You can keep it as improper. So here we have order of operations. So we're still going to go left to right. Remember, in terms of bed mass, it's really written like this, because division and multiplication are on the same level. Okay, So you do it left to right. So we are going to do this division first. So we're going to go 6 over 5 times 10 over 9. And then you can write the times uh, the 1 over 20. Whoops, not 12, 20. Okay, and then for this one, okay, you can just kind of take it step by step here. So I can go, um, actually, let's, uh, yeah, we can go 6 over 9. So that's going to be a 3 goes into 6 twice and a 3. 10 over 5, that's 2 and a 1. So then we got 2 times 2 is 4 over 3. And then we're times that by 1 20th. 4 goes into 4 once. 4 goes into 25 times. So I get 1 over 15 would be your simplest answer there. OK, using the cross cancel way. Now this time we have brackets. So we do need to do the inside first. So this time we get 9 over 200. 6 over 5 divided by 9 times 1, 9. 10 times 20, 200. And we're going to flip the denominator, which is this guy, 200 over 9. So this one, 6 goes in, and 6 and 9 have a 3 in common. So two threes in that one, 3 in this one. 5 and 200 do have a 5 in common, 1 there. Five, uh, 5 goes into 200 40 times. So we get 2 times 40 is 80. 1 times 3 is 3. So 80 over 3 is the answer here. Okay, and now we're going to do with monomials. So remember, monomial is a single term with variables. So a division of monomials, simplify at this stage, does not, uh, do not state the restrictions on the variables. So we do not have to state restrictions yet. Remember, restrictions are what causes the bond to be zero. So our very first step, like before even doing anything mathematically, is everybody should be able to do the flip. Okay, we should all be like, okay, multiply 15b over 32a squared. I typically like to do the numbers first. So in that case, um, I'm going to go ahead and go, OK, 16 and 32 have a 16 in common. So that's going to be a 1 now. That's going to be a 2 now, because 16 goes into 16 once, 16 goes 32 twice. 15 and 9 have a 3 in common. So that's a 3. That's a 5. So then I like to rewrite it. So I have an A on top. I have 3B squared on bottom. I have 5B on top. And I have a 2A squared on bottom. Now we're going to go for the variables. So I have an a here and an a2 here. So if I have one a here and two on the bottom, he's gone. There's just a one here now. It'll make it zero. And that's now a one. They cancel. OK, this is what we're seeing. We have a over a times a. So these cancel. We're left with one over a. Same thing over here. If the b's gone, that's now a b1. OK, so one times five on top is five. 3b times 2a is 6ab, and this would be your simplest answer. OK, so this one's got a little bit more going on. Again, going from left to right. Now, again, it doesn't matter. You can still, I mean, I can just go piece by piece or whatever you want to do, but I'll just go piece by piece. Let's just stay with the same deal. Sometimes I like to go variables first if it looks messy to me. Like, this looks messy. Um, but we'll just stick with what we're doing here. Um, so I'm going to take the 5 down, the 15, so that's going to be a negative 1 and a 3. So negative 1 times 2 is a negative 2, x, y cubed, and then z. OK, 
Okay, and the bottom is 7 times 3, so it's going to be 21. Um, x times x is x squared, z cubed. Okay, so now what can we simplify here? So we can go ahead and cancel. Let's change a little bit of colors here. It's getting a little jumbled. So let's get rid of that x. This is now a 1. I have 1z. This is now a 2. So what we have now is we have negative 2 y cubed all over 21 x z squared. Okay, now we have to divide, so I'm going to hit multiply. I'm going to flip it. So it's a negative 21 z4 over 10x squared y squared. And now we have to figure out what can we cancel here. Okay, so let's do the numbers first. So the number 21 and 21 cancel, so that's just a negative 1 on the top right now. I have a 2 and a 10. Okay, so the 2, that's a 1 now. That's a 5. Okay, so if we come down here, we have, I'll kind of like write my final answer section here. Okay, so we have oh, negative 1 times a negative 1. So that's just a positive, so I just don't have to write anything there. Okay, on the bottom, it's uh, just a 5 for numbers. So we got all that down to just a 5. So now, let's think about our variables here. So I have a y cubed here and a y squared here. So the y squared's gone. 3 minus 2 is a 1, so this is a 1 now. Okay, I don't have any other x's anywhere but the bottom, so these two x's just make an x cubed. So let's go ahead and just write these as we go. So we have a y on the top. We have an x cubed on the bottom. Okay, and then we got to figure out where's the z going to be. So z, we have a z4 on top, a z2 on bottom. The 2 gets blown away. This is now a 2. So z2 is on top. And that would be our answer. Okay. Now we're going to go over non-permissible values. Again, non-permissible comes from the fact that we cannot divide by 0 in mathematics. So non-permissible values are division over rational expressions. So it says consider the division. So it's just kind of telling you like the changes from our multiplication because consider division a divided by b divided by c over d, where a, b, and c, and d are variables. The actual expression of the non-permissible value of a over b is b can't be 0. Okay, For here, it's d can't be 0. But remember, when we flip and multiply, it now makes the c can't be 0. So you can see the point of this is telling you that essentially these three values cannot be zero in terms of non-permissibles. Okay? And the reason being is because if you do get c equals zero, you're dividing, this is division, so you're dividing by zero itself. Okay? So you essentially have these spots can't be zero for non-permissibles when you're dividing by rational expressions. So let's take that a step further here. So that's what it's just telling you. So say it's restrictions. So all you're doing, we're just doing the restrictions. So remember, we're going to get our restrictions from here, here, and here. So our restrictions for this one is A can't be 0, B can't be 0, and that's it. Over here, it would be this section, this section, this section, and this section, because dividing by this, so the whole thing. So again, X can't be 0, because that would make the whole bottom left there 0. Z can't be 0, same thing. We already got the X for this piece x and y, so then y can't be 0. So it is kind of redundant, but that's just kind of the gist of figuring out your state of res stating your restrictions. All right, division of single variable rational expressions. So the method of division of rational expressions is similar to the method of uh, described for division of rational numbers. The first step is usually invert the divisor and multiply it, then follow the procedure, the multiplication. Okay, so the thing that changes now is we have, we're having binomials in here. So it says simplify, then state the restrictions. So let's just talk about the restrictions first. So the restrictions are going to come from here, here, and here. And we can do that now. A lot of times when it's in this met, like when it's like this, it's easiest to do it right now. Because I know, remember from our zero property back to factoring, I know this binomial it would be 2. So x can't be 2. x can't be negative 3. x can't be negative 1. And then negative 3 again, so I don't have to write that twice. So we're done. That's your, right there's your restrictions. Okay? 
So now in terms of the work on simplifying, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it. And we can cancel these guys. This and this cancels because they're the same exact binomials. And this and this cancels. And so then what's left is your answer in simplified form. So the top only has an x left. The bottom has a 2 times x minus 2. So this would be your simplified answer. OK, yeah, and this one, if you don't like them written vertically, which I don't, um, you can go ahead and just take a second and just rewrite it written horizontally. So I can say, OK, I don't like this. I'm going to go divide 3x squared plus 9x all over x plus 4 squared. And I'm just kind of scribble that out. Okay. Well, we can do our non-permissibles again first, because we're going to get it from here, here, and here. But before we want to do that, you may notice that these aren't um, factored completely. Okay. They have a lot of GCFs we can do. When you see GCFs, you should do them, because they may make things a little bit easier in terms of your 1, your non-permissibles, and what to factor. So like, for example, the 4 here and the 12 have a 4 in common. So the top left is now going to be 4 times x plus 3. The bottom here, they have a 3 in common. It's going to be x plus 4 now. So you can kind of see where your zeros are going to come from a little easier. I'm going to divide by this one up here, 3x squared plus 9x has a 3x in common. Okay, That gives me x plus 3. And then again, I have x plus 4 squared. Now you can see where your zeros are going to come from. Your zeros are going to come from these three spots. And by zeros, I mean your non-permissibles from here from here in these two spots, and then here. OK, so let's do our non-permissibles. So x cannot be, here is negative 4 for my first guy. 0, remember the one that's outside by itself, if he's 0, it's all 0. So 0, negative 3, and we already have negative 4. So that's it. So now we want to flip 4 times x plus 3 all over 3 times x plus 4 times x plus 4 squared all over 3x times x plus 3. So now we can see we have an x plus 3 and x plus 3. Those are gone. Now you have 1x plus 4 and you have two of them. So now this is a 1. So we are good to simplify now. So our answer is going to be 4 times x plus 4 a little close together there. All over, 3 times 3 is 9x. So I did this times this, and nothing else is down there. So that would be your answer right there. All right, looks like we got one more page here. All right, for this page, so it's a poorly indicated operations and the following expression. So this one we have some more factoring to do. You can see there are a lot, it's a lot messier. So first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and GCF or factor everything, figure out my not permissibles, and then we'll cancel. So by doing this, so here they have 4x in common. So this top is going to be 4x, um, not minus here, 4x times x minus 3. This bottom is going to be x plus 3, x minus 3. We factor difference of squares, divided by 7x squared comes out. So I get x plus 1. The bottom here is going to be x plus 1, x plus 3. So again, I know we are repetitive. Here, here, and here is where my zeros are going to come from for non-permissibles. So x cannot be right here, minus 3, plus 3, 0, negative 1, negative 1, and negative 3, which you already have. So there's your non-permissibles. Okay, so then I'll write below here. I'm going to rewrite, and I'm going to look at my canceling. Okay, so. What can I cancel? I can cancel x minus 3's, x plus 3, 
x plus 1, x plus 1. And you can see all you have left is 4x. Oh, we can also get rid of an x here. That x, and this one goes to a 1. So what's left here is 4 on top over 7x. That's it. All right, so B, got a lot going on here. So we're going to do the brackets first. Okay, so let's do our brackets first. Um, so essentially, this whole thing can't be zero. Okay, so anything that makes that whole right side zero can't be because it's divide, division of that whole thing. So we're still going to go ahead and factor first. Okay, so I'll actually factor all pieces. So here I'm going to take out a 10m. That gives me 2m plus 3. That's different than squares. 3 plus 2m, 3 minus 2m. OK, and then we're dividing. So this bracket here, take 11m out. Gives me m squared minus 1, which we can factor that again. So let's go ahead and do that. You guys see that? It's another difference of squares. So it's going to be m minus 1, m plus 1. Uh, the bottom, uh, that's going to be decomp. So I go up here to negative 6, 2 times negative 3. I want 1 apart. So I want 3 times 2 with a negative 3. So we're going to work this out here on the side. 2m squared plus 2m minus 3m minus 3. So we'll take a 2m out. I'm running out of room here. And I'll do it over here. So I take a 2m out. And that gives me m plus 1. If I take a negative, or if I take a 3 out, that gives me m. Let's see here, we got a little bit of a mistake. Yeah, it's a negative 3m. Okay, so negative 3m out, that gives me m plus 1. Okay, so that means that we're going to have on the bottom here, we're going to have 2m plus 3. Ugh, I just said that, minus 3. and then m plus 1. Okay, second one is already set up. We don't have any factoring to do. Good thing, because I'm running out of room. And that's, a, that's supposed to be a multiplication sign. Okay, and m minus 1. Okay, so we need to get our non-permissibles right now from here and this whole group here, the whole thing. Okay, so if we go from the left, um, that's going to be subtract the 3, divide the 2, so negative 3 halves. So m can't be negative 3 halves, okay, or positive 3 halves. Okay, we have the same thing here, 3 halves. We also have a negative 1, a 0, 1, negative 1. So you can also write like this, just for, I haven't been doing it, but you can also write plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 3 halves. We have to write it out four times. Okay, and the same thing here, 1, which we already have. Oh, we don't have 1 yet. Yeah, we do. Plus or minus 1. And negative 3 halves again. So essentially, if we write the shorthand way, it would be plus or minus 1, plus or minus 3 halves, and 0. So there's five non-permissible values. Okay? Now if we go ahead and go to simplify this thing, what cancels? So we get this is gone, this is gone, this is gone, this is gone, okay, and that's it. So what I'm left with, I'm comparing the two, the big two here, 10m times 2m plus 3, all over 3 plus 2m, uh, 3 minus 2m. And then we're going to flip this, what's left. So I'm going to flip it and multiply it. I'm going to divide, erase this real quick here. OK, so that's going to give me um, 2m minus 3 on top. This guy's on the top. And then 11m and 2m plus 3 on bottom. Okay, so then now what can we cancel here? So we can cancel the m, 2m plus 3. Okay, now here's the thing that's close. 
You have 2m minus 3 and 3 minus 2m. So what you can do is you are allowed to pull a negative out of this. So if you pull a negative out, this will make these flip signs. So what that does is you can rewrite that as 2m minus 3. See how that was a negative, now it's positive. That's a positive, now it's a negative. And then we can cancel this out. So we are left with, this is our final answer. We have negative, because the whole thing's negative, because we pulled this negative out, so don't forget you did that. And we have the top is just 10. The bottom is 11. Just 11 and a 3 plus 2m. Just like that. And that would be your final answer. All right, we got one last problem. All right, simplify and state the restrictions. OK, so what we need to do first is we need to get the top together so we can figure out what that is. So we have 10 over a minus 12 over 2a plus 1. So the deal with this is this is back to our previous lessons where we need to get a common denominator. So I have to go a to top and bottom and 2a plus 1 to top and bottom. So that gives me 20a plus 10 minus 12a, which gives me 8a uh, plus 10 all over 2a plus 1 times a. Now we're ready to divide. Oh, not quite. Sorry. We have to do this one as well. 5 over a plus 4 over 1. We need a common denominator just for the 4. So that's going to be 5 plus 4a over a. So that's what we're dividing by. OK, so now we're in a place where we can make our non-permissibles. So we have here, here, and here. This one would be negative 1 half. So um, we're saying what a can't be. So a can't be negative 1 half, or 0, or negative 5 fourths or 0. So negative 1 half, 0, and negative 5 fourths. So we're done with that. Non-permissibles are done. So now we're going to figure out what can we cancel. Well, you do notice that the a here, we can take out a 2. Okay, So let's do that and flip at the same time. So I'm going to take a 2 out here like that. So that's going to give me 4a plus 5, which you can see why I did that now, all over. 2a plus 1 times a times, and we flip this one to a on top, and 5 plus 4a. Okay, and in our canceling, 4a plus 5 and 5 plus 4a is the same. Okay, we have an a and an a. So our final answer, using green for answers, aren't I? 2 over 2a plus 1 is your solution. Okay, that's our solution. Here's our non-permissibles. Okay, so this is unit four, lesson six. Okay, as always, ask questions if you have some.